good now. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for having me. It's great to be here with you. Welcome to part three of this little series where I spend about an hour or so uh, on each class of Diablo 4. And obviously, in this video, I will be playing the Barbarian. Not sure if you saw the previous on the three videos. The very first video I did was exploring all five classes and a little bit uh, about the game. And then I did a full video on the Sorcerer, and then the Rogue, now the Barbarian. And then the last two videos in this series will be the Necromancer, followed by the Druid, saving the best for last. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's load into the game. And what I'm going to do here is the same format that I've been doing in all of these, um, um, in the, well, in the previous two character, um, uh, videos is I'm going to take a look at the skills, my current spec, the current skills I have assigned. I will respec about halfway through, uh, the video. And then we are, and then it, and at that point, I should be in the middle of a dungeon. Um, I have to do a barbarian-specific quest, um, which I'm not really sure what it will unlock. I have a feeling it might unlock expertise, because when I click over here on technique, well, not when I click, I'm on a PS5. Um... I used to be a PC gamer, by the way, um, but anyway, um, you can see it pops up weapon technique to unlock complete barbarian masters of battle. So we're going to track that quest and we're going to do that. Um, but let's take a look at the skills first. Let's go to... Let's go to a little out of the way. Can we find a little area that's kind of out of the way of players or anybody that might be passing through? Maybe a little quiet, little... What's back here? Yeah, we'll hang out back here where everybody's in the, um... What do they call these things? Yeah, we'll just keep everybody company. Okay, so let's go to the abilities. Alright, so for my uh, basic skill, I have Bash. Um, the other night, um, while preparing for this video, I was, and while leveling up the Barbarian a little bit more, I was considering uh, respecting to a Bleed build, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. Um, but for now, I have Bash because I love my melee characters to bash things. You know, Hulk smash. So I have Bash. Bash the enemy with your weapon, dealing X damage. After bashing enemies X times for, in this case, your next bash will stun. Uh, this increases to two seconds if using a two-handed weapon. And then the modifier I have to enhance bash is enhanced bash. Damaging a stunned enemy with bash grants you X percent base life as fortify. Double this amount when using a two-handed weapon. And then we enhanced it further with battle bash. Damaging a stunned enemy... Uh, generates additional fury. Um, three or four if using a two-handed weapon. All right, and I have two-handed weapons um, that I primarily use. All right, moving to the core skills. Oh, and I um, somewhat forgot to mention that, and, and in case you 
didn't hear me say this in a previous video, one of the reasons that I'm doing, um, spending, you know, an hour or so on each class is not just to explore the class and the skills and respect, but also to dedicate the video to anyone who is maining this particular class. So, shout out to all the barbarians out there. Alright, so where were we? Okay, core skills. I chose Whirlwind because barbarian, obviously. Um, yeah, I just love the... Um, I didn't play um, this class in D2, I think it was, when they introduced the barbarian, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I never played D2, or if I did, I hardly have any memory of it. Um, but anyway, I love, I love the whirlwind. Um, so you rapidly attack enemies by spinning. You're like a, a top, spinning top with a weapon. And then I enhanced it with enhanced whirlwind. Gain one fury each time whirlwind deals direct damage to an enemy, or four fury against elites. And then I enhanced it with violent whirlwind. Um, after using it for two seconds, it deals 30% increased damage until cancelled. I could have chosen furious whirlwind. When using a slashing weapon, it inflicts uh, X percent of its base damage as bleeding damage over five seconds. So when I respec um, in this video, I, I may choose that unless I go for uh, rend. So, you know, I may just go rend and skip. Uh, yeah, I think I'll, when I respec, we'll, uh, we'll uh, spec away from whirlwind and do something different. All right, and then I put some uh, three points into Endless Fury so that my basic skills uh, generate 15% more fury when using two-handed weapons. So like the other classes, and uh, kind of what I like to do is to try to increase any uh, skills or have any uh, gear that helps to um, uh, regenerate uh, the energy that each class uses. Alright, next for the defensive skills I chose Iron Skin. It's kind of like a shield and a healing skill. Steal yourself gaining a barrier that absorbs 65% X% percent of your missing life for, you know, five seconds. And then I enhance that. Oh, I uh, put four points into that. Um, and then the, um, the enhancement is enhanced iron skin. The barrier absorbs 12% more of my maximum life. And then I enhanced it even further with tactical iron skin. While iron skin is active, heal for 10% of the barrier's original amount as life per second. So there's my heal. I could have chose strategic iron skin, um, which uh, fortifies me, um, but uh, I like to prefer to get some healing. All right, and then I put points in Imposing Presence, where I gain 15% uh, additional max life. All right, moving on to uh, moving on to the brawling skills. I chose War Cry. Bellow a mighty war cry, increasing your damage dealt by 15% for six x seconds x percent. I mean, those yellow numbers, you know, can change based on different uh, things for X seconds and nearby ally allies as well. And then I enhanced it with Enhanced War Cry, grants me Berserking. Then I enhanced it further with Mighty War Cry, where it grants me um, uh, base life uh, as uh, Fortify. 
I could have chosen a Power War Cry, where my damage bonus is increased by 10%, an additional percent. But I just decided to go for the uh, base life as Fortify. Alright, and then moving on to Weapon Mastery Skills, I selected Death Blow. I kept calling this the Execution uh, executioner skill, um, but it's not. You can use it at any point, so uh, it's great. Uh, it, it deals a ton of damage. Uh, attempt a killing strike. That's why I kept calling it a um, an, a, an executioner skill. Uh, but you can use it, you know, at the beginning of a battle, and it deals. Um, right now, it deals a whopping 533 damage to uh, enemies in front of me, and it can do multiple enemies. Uh, and if it kills an enemy, it will be, re uh, the cooldown is reset. It also deals 100% increased damage to bosses. That's uh, because of the enhanced death blow modifier. And then I enhanced it further with fighter's death blow, where if it damages at least one enemy, it generates 20 fury. So again, um, another uh, skill enhancement that helps generate, uh, regenerate uh, energy, fury. So I love Death Blow because um, when facing some uh, basic mobs, whether in a dungeon or overland, I can just one-shot them um, and, and do it repeatedly. Um, and then, you know, um, instead of having to use Whirlwind. So, in that case, it's a little quicker. And, um, and I'll show you that as I, uh, as we play in a little, uh, in a little bit. Hold on a second, I just want to check up on everybody. Everybody, uh, okay here? You guys, uh, doing alright? Tick Honan, you okay there? You okay? You don't get to have your name displayed. Are you okay? You good? I think I already did this Belex quest. Or no, I I talked to him and he gave me a quest. Okay. Let me just uh cheer everybody in the stock the stockades, that's what they're that's what they're called. Let me just give them a nice little cheer. Impressive. And we'll do it again. How apropos. Greetings. <laughs> now just say what else we can do. Here we go. Sorry. I apologize. And then um, let's see. What else can we say? Um. This will be your last stupid mistake. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the skills. All right. So that was the defensive skills. Iron skin. And um, moving on to the... No, that was the brawling skills. Moving on to the weapon mastery. No, no, that was... The, we did that one too. Moving on to the ultimate skills. I chose Call of the Ancients. Call upon three ancients to aid you in battle for six seconds. Korlik leaps at enemies, dealing X damage and swings his weapons in a frenzy. Dealing X uh, damage per hit. So I guess deals uh, one amount of damage and then deals additional damage per hit. Uh, Talik or Talik spins in a whirlwind, rapidly attacking enemies for X damage. And then Madok upheaves the ground, dealing X damage. Um, I wasn't sure. I, I'm, I hate to say this. Um, but I'm, I was expecting a little bit something more with the ultimates. There's just three of them. I'm not sure if every class has three only. Um, I'm trying to think of the other classes, but anyway, I was kind of, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting something a little different. I don't know. Um, but you know, I don't want to nitpick, um, so, anyway, so Call the Ancients, I chose that, and it's really good. I like it. 
um, and then I enhanced it with Prime Call of the Ancients. While Call of the Ancients is active, gain 10% bonus attack speed and 10% increased damage. So any kind of skill that helps increase damage, even if it's 10%, they all add up. 10% here, 10% in another skill, 5% uh, with a piece of gear, another 2.5%, another piece of gear, all those percentages add up, and the next thing you know, you're dealing 50% more of your damage. Okay, and then I enhanced it um, with Supreme called the Ancients. Each of the Ancients gains additional power. Korlik, um, I gain 10 Fury each time he damages an enemy. Uh, Talik, well, not, I don't know if they're all men. Could be men or women, I don't know. Talik, enemies are slowed by 50% for one second when damaged by Whirlwind. And then Madok does a 30% chance to stun enemies for three seconds when using his upheaval. So I like uh, Call of the Ancients. Uh, when I respec, I'll choose another ultimate. Um, the reason I like Call of the Ancients is uh, you can use them when you're doing them um, when you're uh, facing a mob, you know, just a generic dungeon or overland mob, and you want to, and you know that it's going to take a little time to get through the mob with Whirlwind, you just summon Call the Ancients, and while you're, you know, using your other attacks as well, and you deal, you know, you get through them pretty quickly. And of course it helps with bosses, too. And that's it, I'm not going to have enough time to get uh, to the uh, passive, um, but uh, this won't be the last time I'll be doing Barbarian. Um, uh, this is, you know, um, if you're watching this, when I publish these videos, it's kind of like Diablo 4 week on my channel. I don't really do this many gameplay videos um, um, back to back like this on my channel, So, but I'm just making the exception this once. Um, but, um, yeah, um, you know, in a come back here in a month, when I have uh, progressed the characters more and I'll have the passive unlocked and, you know, spend, I'm not going to do another hour on each class, but I will do another gameplay session of all five classes. And uh, that's the plan. But anyway, that's, um, that's in the future. Alright, so that is the skills that I currently have equipped. Maybe... You know, you have something similar or completely different. Um, either case, it doesn't matter, you know, to each their own. And let's get moving. So I have unlocked, I reached level 20. I think it's level 20 or 25 where you unlock the occultist. So, nope. Yeah, that's the occultist. So let's go in here, talk to Demian the occultist. Tell me of extraction and imprinting. This is a short little mini quest just to unlock the, um, the occultist. As I'm sure you know, even seemingly mundane objects sometimes contain great power. Oh. I can help you wrest that power free. Oh, great. <laughs> Not really, but not that I would ever dream of such a thing. Not me neither. Certainly not with an earshot of the cathedral. Right, yeah. Okay. Unga bunga. Me like. Alright. So I have to what do I have to do as part of this quest? Um what does it want me to do? No, that's the No, but where is the did I just complete it? Okay, I thought I had to actually do something. Let's just highlight my barbarian quest. 
So that's over there on the right as my active quest. Okay, I can imprint. Oh, right. So this is where you deal with aspects. Um, I don't have an item. Well, let's just select my any item. And then we'll go to my codex of power. Um, why am I... Oh, yeah, I was still... I still had item highlighted. Alright, we'll go down to Codex of Power. And this is where I can imprint... Um, or you... I mean, we can imprint almost anything. Additional modifiers, enhancements to any piece of gear. Um, and we've been here now for about 20 minutes. So, um... You know, maybe another video will spend time doing that. Um, I haven't really... I, I spent some time looking at it with my druid. Um, but, uh, yeah, not really sure which ones to use just yet. Alright, so there, all the way over yonder, <laughs> is our bar barbarian quest. And that might be a stronghold. I don't know, or whatever. I know there's a st stronghold out here somewhere. Maybe it's right there for the druid quest. All right, so that's going to take us, um, I don't know what, maybe five minutes to get there in this video. But that's cool. We can kind of explore and fight our way there, show you how I play, which might be similar, similar to you. love the atmosphere sound effects everything is near perfect let's just pin that so I can follow because I'm a barbarian me not smart spin 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 there we go some gallo vine for crafting um let's bring out the I did my ult I did my ult ultimate just to help make quicker work of the mobs. Unga bunga. Going northwest. The Sallow Riverbanks. They look very sallow. Uh oh. my iron skin to heal up and of course I got frozen let's summon the ancients we have an elite Spin, spin. Spin for days. Get this shocking ice clan marauder. Oh, there's a spider. There's that um, skill I was talking about earlier. Where it does... Um, Executioner skill 
it's not called. It's called. I keep. Uh, what the heck's it called again? Death blow. Death blow. Death blow. Okay. All right. We got uh, sidetracked there a little bit. Ooh, what do we have in here? Traveler's cask. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. That's one cool thing about leveling up. It does this blast. Kills. The, uh, I don't know if it kills everything or does enough damage to kill everything. And uh, yeah, still I gained one skill point, but still not enough to get a passive. Um, let's see. Where do I want to put the extra point? You know, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to respec anyway. Let's just put it into my iron skin. All right. Oh. We'll just summon the ancients again. Thank you, gentlemen. Or gentlewomen, I don't know. Death blow. Death blow. Sometimes you have enough death blow to just take out all the mobs. Yeah, I was just trying to use it right there. Okay. Keep marching through. Oh, wait. I was pointing the wrong way. Trying to use death blow. Stun. Done, get some energy back. Some fury. One shot the basic mobs. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can do that. Nah. Let's summon the ancients. We have an elite. There's Death Blow, Whirlwind, and that'll do it. We getting close? Man, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take like 10 minutes to get there, actually. I could try to just keep running and avoid the mobs. Why don't we try to do that? Is it still following me? Don't they ever give up? Just keep it stunned. Well, doesn't really keep it stunned, but... Man, it's gonna take forever to get there. <laughs> I probably should have done this. I didn't think it would take this long. I love these environments. I just love the aesthetic of this game. Man, it's gonna take what, half an hour to get there? All right. Maybe what I'll do is, we've been here half an hour. If I can't get there any quicker, I might just edit out this whole journey to get there because I don't want to be here for two hours. All right, Path of Stray Souls. We're getting closer, getting closer. I gotta go through here. Yeah, I don't want to activate this. Go around it. Go around the event. I have more.
more important things to do. I'm on an important quest. I must speak with Forge Master Gertie in Ked Bardu. Oh, here we go. This is cool. I was wondering when there was going to be a lava. Oh, nice and toasty. Nice sound effects. Alright, let's keep keep on keeping on. sanctuary somehow this is uh normally i i would have done a role play video instead of i got something in my eye instead of um you know a whole week of gameplay videos but i can still do a role play and i'll just do both all right we're, we're almost there we're like uh, a minute or two away it's not taking me as long as I thought it would. Uh, what's this? Oh, I thought I executed it in one hit. I guess not. Cast my iron skin so I can heal up the remaining health that I'm missing. Alright. We're getting closer. Unga bunga. Hello? Passerby. We are so close, so very close. Use my dash, try to help us get a little closer. Listen to the nice accompanying, accompanying music. What was that sound? Discovered another area of the dry steps. Okay, now it's it's quiet. There we go. We're getting closer. Go this way. Some jars. I am the destroyer of jars and the destroyer of containers. Actually, check out my title. Rampaging Beast. Let's Let's edit. Uh, oh, goat. Let's see, lots of goat, <laughs> goat. Um, let's see. Something funny. A nocturnal goat. Nefarious goat. Lucky go lonely goat. Little goat. Iron goat. Hate furious goat. Foul goat. Enlightened goat. Dirty goat. Bubbly goat. Belligerent goat. <laughs> I'm a belligerent goat. <laughs> ah, it's the simple things that give me the giggles. Come on. I'm a belligerent goat. Oh, hello. There's always that random... Um, that's kind of cool. They added that. It's just a random 
uh, you can't interact it, uh, interact it, interact with it. But it kind of makes it uh, more alive, you know. Someone traveling on a horse. Kind of cool. There should be a little more variety, though. Would like to see the person on the horse look like one of us, but maybe they don't do that so as not to make it look like a player. Okay, anyway. All right, we have reached... Yes, Unga Bunga. Oh, that's Gertie. Oxen Tribe Forge Master. Let's see what she has to say. You wish to see me? I see you are a child of Ariat. Mm -hmm. You bear no crest. True. Have you no tribe? Mm -hmm. Yes. Of battle carry yeah. me further and faster than any tribe can travel. E exactly. Spoken like a warrior who has never known a home. Mm -hmm. There are many like you, raised in the wilds. Yes. Your tribe scattered by the fall of Mount Ariat. Yes. We oxen have been fortunate. Mm -hmm. We found a home, good trade, strength. Uh -huh. If you wish to join your strength to ours, maybe Katra, north of town. Okay. She'll show you what is needed. Okay. Katra. You said there are many like me? No, come on, I'm the only barbarian in all the sanctuary. Not all you see here were born of the oxen tribe. Mm. Some found us, as you did, guided by fate. Yes. They tell us of others who wander without a tribe. Mm. As for their fate. Only the ancestors know. Oh. Okay. Where's Katra? Katra, where are you? You're out in the wilds of the sanctuary? Okay. Well, let's go get our waypoint on our way to Katra. There we go. There's a little side quest, but I'm not going to spoil anything in these videos. Except for the, these uh, class specific quests. You know, I'm not gonna. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Big Minotaur statue. Crackling fire. Hello, donkey. Say hi to the donkey. Look. Try that again. Say hello to the donkey. Greetings. Hello. Oops, I used that potion. Hello. Hmm. Donkey is unresponsive. That's okay. All right. Unga bunga. Let us go to the magical, the fates are, oh, let's go say hello to this, hello beast, Greetings. oh, that's how you greet me, not very nice, making me mad, see this is, I, I came here, I came here to make friends, You made me do it, beast. I came here to be nice. I said hello, but you and your your friend, you know, weren't being very cordial. Let's try again. Maybe you learn from your mistakes. Nope. I don't want to kill myself in the process. Okay. Let's try this again. friendly at all. I tried. I don't want to just, you know. again. 
You know, I was just trying to be nice and cordial. You know, not all barbarians just want to kill everything and everyone. You know, I'm trying to set an example here. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Oh, a goblin. Get it, get it, get it. back here, come back here. I am going to kill this treasure goblin and we're going to see what it has for us. Where are you? tried. I'm not sure if... Alright, let's just get away. I'm not sure if I'm uh, missing... Oh, I went through a whole bunch of pots. I'm like down to two blood orbs. I don't know if I missed anything that had dropped. creepy. What is that? Redamine. Redamine. Ah. Uh, I'll remind them. No problem. I gotta kill 20 wild 
life. Alright, so we're not doing a dungeon. Stupid beast. Seven wildlife. So, where's the wildlife at? Wildlife. There we go. There's some wildlife, some maggots. You're not wildlife. There's a wildlife over there. There's a swarm. None of that counted as wildlife. Okay, maggots are monsters, I guess. Usually if there's a dungeon, it, it, no, 
Maybe there's a dungeon. I was going to say, usually a dungeon shows up on the map, but not until you discover it. So maybe there is a dungeon here. Uh, let's see. A great and terrible beast. It has plagued the steppes all season, laying waste to crops, caravans, and warriors alike. Mm. Bring me its head as an offering to our ancestors. Then... We may call you Oxen Tribe. Okay. I will wait here for you to return. Or until the sun rises again. Oh. You will not be waiting long. <laughs> Me, Clothar, Ungabunga. Is it a dungeon? Yes, it's a dungeon. Yep. Carnal Cave. Hey, would y'all just chill? I'm trying to go inside the dungeon. Let's just go inside. Get out of here. Get away from the mobs. Alright, so for the next 20 minutes, half an hour. I've been trying to keep these videos down to an hour, but it's just not happening. Maybe you don't mind. I hope you don't. Alright, Lair of the Beast. Let me just heal up a little bit. Oh, we have an elite. Oh, big old beast right there. Let me just... Greetings. Let's be friends. I don't want to fight you. Hello. Well done. Can we be friends? No. Okay. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Oh, that was it? That was the whole... I thought it was a dungeon. Okay, it's just... It, it looks like a dungeon, though. That's it? Maybe that's just how it is for... The quest? There you go, here's the beast's head. <laughs> and what a great ugly thing it is. Glorious. I will deliver this to the Forge Master. When you are ready, return to us in Kedbardu. And congratulations, okay. warrior of the Oxen Tribe. Ooh, thank you. Well, I was expecting... I mean, that's it for the dungeon? Hmm. What if we leave and come back in? I was expecting a sprawling dungeon. Oh, that's it. It's gone. Okay. Maybe it reactivates or something. Interesting. Alright. So it was... I wonder if... Alright, so it's just one of these things that appears or you can only gain access to by way of a quest so and then you're locked out of it all right so let's go back to town i still want to do a dungeon though um so maybe we'll find a dungeon in the earlier part of the game uh let's finish the quest this is cool. It's got some kind of um, Middle Eastern, almost, theme to it a little bit. I have returned. Welcome, kindred warrior. Katra tells me she's never seen such skill. It's true. But you must be an ancient revolt. I am indeed. She exaggerates. No, she doesn't. But you are not Oxen Tribe yet. <sighs> not without a crest. Made in the Great Forge. May it guard you on the path. And always guide you home. So now what I gotta do? Well, the quest is complete. And... Weapon technique unlocked. So there we go. So I still have to get a crest of the Oxen Tribe, but whatever. 
I don't need no stinking qui- where we're going. We don't need no stinking crests. All right, so now we have the expertise unlocked. So what does that mean? Let's go over there, highlight it. The technique slot allows the player to choose a weapon expertise effect that applies to all of their attacks, regardless of which weapon they are using. Select an expertise of rank 1 or above from the right to set your technique. Okay, so um, uh, similar to the other classes, like the Druid Spirit Boon um, or the Rogue, the Sorcerer. The Sorcerer didn't have this, though, I don't think, if I remember correctly. Okay, I don't know, maybe it did. I can't remember offhand. Anywho, um, two-handed mace expertise, we'll select that. When using a two-handed mace, lucky hit, up to 4% chance to gain two fury when hitting an enemy, double the amount while berserking. Alright, see, next rank, lucky hit is increased, and I also deal additional increased crit strike damage when I reach rank 10. Okay, there's two-handed sword expertise, which uh, deal uh, increases bleed, bleeding damage. Pole arm increases lucky hit chance. Two-handed axe increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Uh, One-handed sword. I won't be using that that often, um, but that helps with uh, crowd control. The mace helps with stunned enemies, and the axe, one-handed axe crit strike chance against injured enemies. Okay. Double the amount when using two axes. And, oh, look at that. Rank 10 crit strikes have up to a, 50, a 55% chance to grant. Oh, no, that's, I thought it increased the crit strike chance to 55%. So, maybe... You get 10% crit strike chance when using two axes. So that kind of makes me think about wanting to use maybe a basic skill with two axes um, for the crit strike instead of uh, bash. Could use frenzy. You know, use frenzy to injure them and um, uh, and then kill them quicker with. Uh, crit strikes okay all right so that's that um, I don't see any dungeons um, I don't want to waste any more time um, let's go do a dungeon that we can and then we'll respec so we'll travel to Margrave And then, um, or actually, let's just respec. I mean, you've, you've, you've seen me, and, and you may know, you know, how the skills handle. So let's just respec now to, um, I'll be quiet, be quiet. Let's go over here. Um, let's respec. And let's go bleed. So we'll do flay. And I uh, will, let's see. Yeah, so we'll choose enhanced flay. 10% chance to make a vul uh, an enemy vulnerable. Uh, double when using a two-handed weapon. And then battle flay. 10% chance uh, increased bleed. Uh, so we'll do that. And then we'll do rend. That's more bleed. Uh, enhanced rend. Uh, something to do with vulnerable enemies. Um, I guess it extends the duration of rend. Uh, then we have furious rend. Direct damage with rend grants four fury per enemy hit. 
or uh, deals 12% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Um, didn't I have uh, gaining fury with whirlwind? Whirlwind? I don't know. Um, increased damage or gain some fury. Let's gain the fury. Okay, and then uh, for the defense, let's choose something else. Um, we have challenging shout, damage reduction to nearby enemies, rallying cry, increases movement speed and resource regeneration, ground stomp, stuns enemies for three seconds. Ooh, I kind of like that. Do we want to reduce damage that I take for six seconds or stun the enemies for three? Let's do the challenging shout. 40% damage reduction for six seconds. That's no joke. And then we'll choose enhanced challenging shout. Gain 20% bonus maximum life. I like that. And then strategic challenging shout. I gain thorns. Or gain fury each time I take damage while challenging shout is active. Yeah, we'll take that. I like that. Alright, then I have to spend two more skill points. Uh, let's see. Take a look at... How about we'll put them into uh, additional max life. I know there is increased bleed damage. Alright, now we move on to brawling skills. We were using war cry. There's charge. Become unstoppable and rush forward, pushing enemies with you and then swinging through them for damage and knocking them back. Uh, let's see, they become stunned. If I, if I modify it further, reduces the cooldown if they're knocked into terrain and uh, make them vulnerable. Uh, so there's charge, leap, leap and knockback, surrounding enemies. Let's take a look at the modifiers. Gain fury with leap or slow them. We're vulnerable with charge or uh, reduce the cooldown. And then there's kick powerful kick that deals damage and knocks back enemies in front of you. Enemies who are knocked back into terrain take additional damage. Can make them vulnerable. And gain fury. Or they take additional damage. Or kicked enemies deal additional damage to enemies they collide with while being knocked back. And then they're knocked down. So kick, charge, or leap. They all sound kind of fun. Um, I gain 40 fury if I do leap. Kick. And there's not always terrain around me. In dungeons, there are. Um, I don't want to spend too much time here. Make enemies vulnerable. Leap. Gain fury. Uh, let's make enemies vulnerable. With the charge. Kick sounds good. Um, but you have to kind of position yourself and it's really effective when there's terrain. Uh, let's go with charge. Uh, take additional damage um, if they're knocked back into terrain. Um, but any enemy, all enemies damaged with charge are vulnerable. So I like that. Then we have to spend two more points. Uh, let's see. Movement speed. Berserking. Reduction. 
shout skill durations are increased. Um, didn't I choose a shout? A challenging shout. 2% increase. I mean, that's not much. Let's go increase my life. And then some damage reduction against elites. That's fine. Now we open up the weapon mastery. And where's the rupture? That's more bleed. Uh, skewer enemies in front of you, dealing damage, then rip your weapon out, damaging enemies for their total bleeding amount, and removing all bleeding damage from them. Oh, it removes, it removes bleed, uh, from them. Do I want that? I don't know if I want rupture. Do I want rupture? Explodes enemies. Uh, maybe I... Mm, I don't know if I want rupture. Um, there's steel grasp. Pulls in enemies. And I already did death blow. Let's try rupture. And then, um, ripping your weapon out of enemies causes an explosion and deals bleeding damage over five. Okay, so there's more bleed. And I can use it to heal me or increase my attack speed. Let's use it to heal me. And then here is the hamstring. Your bleed uh, affects slow enemies by 10%. And then increased uh, bleed effects deal or... Your bleeding effects deal 6% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. So we'll do that again. 12%. And we have one more. And let's put another one into... Yeah, more damage. Alright, now the ultimate. Let's choose Iron Maelstrom. Or Wrath of the Berserker. Let's go with the Wrath of the Berserker. Explode into a rage, knocking back, surrounding enemies, and gaining berserking and unstoppable for 5 seconds. For the next 10 seconds, deal direct damage with basic skills. Uh, grants berserking for 5. Okay. And uh, let's see, we'll enhance it with 20%. Uh, uh, speed movement increase and fury generation and then while it's active every 50 fury you spend increases berserk's damage bonus by 25 percent and then i have one more point to spend and let's see um blood bludgeoning weapons deal five percent increased damage if the enemy is stunned or vulnerable Where's the max life? Uh, let's decrease against elites. I know I put points in life or something somewhere. Where was that? Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter, that's fine. Been here for about an hour and ten minutes. Uh, let's go into the dungeon. I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat the boss. Uh, but let's try. I gotta... So that's that. I have to get used to the skills. There's the ultimate. I don't have iron skin, but I have... I gotta get used to my, um skills again. I have the charge and that is R1. So that's the charge makes enemies vulnerable. And then I have my rend which uh, causes bleed and that's my square. That's my core skill. The 
than my charge, than my challenging shout. That's the damage reduction. And then I have rupture. Okay. That's the L2, and then my ultimate is R2. So we want to basic skill, cause some bleed, right? Cause some bleed with um, flay. Yeah, so flay, then the square, and then, uh, well, we want to do the challenging shout triangle first when coming into uh, uh, contact with enemies to get the uh, damage reduction up. Uh, and then charge them, make them vulnerable. And, uh, yeah, trying to get, uh, go into the mall wood dungeon. Sounds like a name of a mall. Mall wood. Welcome to the mall wood mall. Oh, this takes me to outside dungeon. That's cool. I'm not gonna do the, I don't know if I'll get to the boss. In this video, okay, so what's my dash again? No, that was L1. So there's that. Okay. Gonna get used to it a little bit. It's a different uh, play style than with the other uh, spec that I had. Okay, R1 is my dash. Triangle is my shout. through a lot more I'm going through a lot more potions I feel like maybe I just have to get a little more comfortable with this uh, this is just taking me back I want to see if I can get to a uh, dungeon boss Yeah, 
like I have no I have no potions left I'm not getting a lot of healing I have I'm out of potions already so I don't know maybe I didn't spec you know, I chose challenging shout. Um, it gives me 20% bon bonus maximum life, but it doesn't heal me. Um, maybe I should have just kept my iron skin. Let's spec out of that. dead. Yeah, I'm not feeling this build. Um, but, but maybe I don't have the right type of skills. Repair all my gear, but 
Let's just see how we do. Again. Go a little further. Trying to get used to this build. Maybe it's not the most ideal build. Um, Getting used to the um, I'm getting used to the, uh, the skills that I have, so, oh, that was a waste of a charge. I, I do like, oh, we have another one of these invisible. an extra healing potion I shouldn't have. synergy between them. And I died again. I wasn't having that problem, you know, with the, um, um, I'm not going to be able to finish this dungeon. Let's go back to town. Just go through my gear that I did. Um, have some fun with that. End the video with that. So, so I'm not. I'd have to play around with that build. It might not be the best build, like I've been saying over the last few minutes. Um, where's the blacksmith? Um, you know, maybe, 
either I don't have the right amount of points in the Pacific skill, or I need to just, you know, make sure I have the right skills. I feel like I do. I mean, I'm trying to cause a lot of bleed damage. Um, Not while I'm in town. But, you know, let's see. So I have the iron skin. I have the rend. Um, I have the flay. And I have the... The rupture. Um, the rupture causes an explosion that deals bleed damage over 5 seconds. It's 121 over 5 seconds. Um, hitting at least one enemy with it heals me. Um, but then it goes on a cooldown. So, I don't know, maybe rupture and iron skin. Um, no, that's what I do have. I do have rupture and iron skin. So I should be healing from them. Um, I had rupture, uh, instead of iron skin, I had challenging shell. Um, so I wasn't getting any healing from that except for bonus maximum life. Um, so, yeah, maybe I just need to play around with the bleed build a little bit more. So, alright, well, that's going to do it uh, for this video. Thank you very much again for uh, hanging out. And um, whether you are playing the Barbarian class or another, or maybe Barbarian will be your alt, or maybe you'll have all five classes. One will be your main and four others will be your alts. Who knows? Or maybe you're not playing Diablo 4 at all. It doesn't matter. I um, hope you were able to, you know, chill out and relax. And, uh, yeah, so that'll do it. So um, I'm just going to finish up here, going through my uh, inventory, see what I want to equip, what I want to junk and salvage. And um, stay tuned for the next video in this series, if you're watching these in order, which will be the Necromancer. And then the last video in this series will be the Druid. And I hope to see you in those or another future video. Till then, take care. Wish you all my best. Stay safe, stay well. And I'll be talking to you soon. Alright, let's bring up my equipped. So we can compare. We have a common axe. We'll just mark that junk. A Havoc Menace Rare Sword. I don't use my swords, but we'll equip that anyway for the bonuses. I don't use my one-handed swords, I should say. We have a magic two-handed sword, 9% crit strike damage, and a lucky hit to execute enemies, non-elites, up to 6%. But what I have now has 18% damage to healthy, 14 to vulnerable, 16% basic skill, 30% damage to close, Plus, I have two gems slotted, so we'll mark that as junk. The magic pole arm, and we'll mark that as junk as well. I have a rare ring. It doesn't have a crit strike chance. And my other two rings, both of my rings equipped, do have crit strike chance, so we'll mark the ring in my inventory is junk. We'll mark the magic pants as junk. What I have equipped is better. Mark the common ring as junk. Mark the magic axe as junk. Rare pants. Let's see. 20% movement speed for 2 seconds when using a potion. 1.8% dodge chance. 5% damage reduction from distant enemies compared to the 4% now. 4.5% healing received. Um, but what I have now gives me plus 32 max life and plus 10 willpower. I don't know. Additional armor. 
healing received versus max life. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're gonna. I'm gonna eventually change them out. Um, let's equip equip the new ones. Uh, I also have an empty socket, so I mark what I have for, uh, for trash. For salvage, mark the pants, the common pants, mark that for salvage. Strider's crown helm, that's common, mark that for salvage. Magic pants, mark those for salvage. Rare helm, it does, it has less armor. Um, but I like what I have now. I have a gem slot, plus I get one rank of death blow. Well, before I respect, I had death blow. So, I don't know how I'm going to spec now. But, um, um, we'll mark the one in inventory for salvage. A rare sword. Hmm. Does more damage. Damage to slowed. More crit strike. Damage to close enemies. Yeah, why not? Rare boots. Max evade charge. I like that. Uh, increases my dodge. Well, has a lower dodge chance, but increases my dexterity. Um, cold resistance instead of poison resistance. I like that max evade charge. Yeah, let's do that. A rare helm. Increases healing received. Has an empty socket. I already have. So it has 3.5% base healing received. But I could put another socket to uh, with another skull gem to have uh, increased the healing received to 7%. So I like that. So we'll do that. We'll switch. And then I'll make sure I uh, salvage what's in the inventory to get the gem back. So I don't have to pay to unsocket the gym. And let's see, the rare gloves. 161 armor, higher armor. Uh, reduces physical damage over time. One rank of rend. Both of them have one rank of rend. But I have a increased crit strike chance on the armor I have now. So let's keep what I have now. Okay. And there's that bludgeoning uh, mace. Same uh, overpower damage. Um, same 14% basic skill damage. Same lucky hit. The difference is 15 strength versus 7% damage to stunned. And the one I have has a gem slot, so we'll mark the one in my inventory as junk. Okay. Make sure I didn't mark anything that has a, a gem in the slot, because you won't get it back this way. When you do a... When you sell everything by marked as junk... And then we'll salvage directly in my inventory, get that skull gem back. There we go, there's a skull gem. 